Okay, mathematicians. Now I'm going to talk to you about representing mixed numbers with units of tens, ones, and tenths. And we're going to do that in expanded form. So now we're taking these decimals and these fractions and we're representing them in expanded form. So let's kind of take this step by step here and we're going to start off with kind of some connections here to what we already know, what we've already learned. So I have four tens here. What is a multiplication sentence that I can use to show the total value of this? Four tens written as a multi multiplication expression is four times 10 equals 40. Okay? So when I'm thinking, well, there's 40 here, that's probably the first thing you said, and you are correct, but when I want to make a multiplication expression to show that, I'm going to say 4 times 10. Okay? So I'm going to keep that in mind, and I'm just going to write, actually, right below this, just the expression, not the equation. I'm not sharing the answer. The expression is right here in expanded form. This is representing 4 times 10. Uh, but, you know, we're warming up here. We're going to add a little bit more. We're going to make this a little bit more complex. I'm going to add something to this a little visual I've created here. Think about what is the multiplication expression that represents these two disks that I've added on to my number. I added on 2 times 1, 1. Right, and this one I have four times 110, and here I have two times one one to get me two ones all together. So at this point, we have four times 10 plus two times one all together. We have a total of 42, 42, right? Four tens, two ones, 42. Those are some steps that we already are aware of. Those are some steps that we already know how to work with. We're going to start adding on that extra piece. Our goal right now is representing mixed numbers with tens, ones. Let's add in some tenths now. I'm going to go a little crazy here. I'm going to add one, two, three. I'm going to move my camera so you can get a view of all of it because what I want to make sure you can see is I want to group these in like a row of five. Five, eh, let's do six, sure, oh sure. All right, so now I've added six tenths here. How in the world am I going to represent this? How am I going to represent this? Well, looking at it as decimals, this would be the same as doing six times one tenth. I'm putting the 0 0.1 just so it might work looks a little cleaner and it, I don't miss that little point there. And I would say that's right. So this is an example right here of decimal expanded form. So when I'm representing in decimal expanded form, we can see that represented right here at the end, decimal expanded form. Now, I want us to make some connections here, though, to decimals and fractions. I want to keep bringing up those ideas. So I can also represent this a little bit differently if I wanted to and still get the same result. So when I add all of these together, I get 42.6. I could, however, represent this equation like this. I have 4 times 10 ones. Or I'm sorry, 10, 4 times 1, 10, 2 times 1, 1, and 6 times 1 tenth. We already know that 1 tenth as a fraction is the same as 1 tenth as a decimal, but how does this change my answer? I've still gotten it in expanded form. However, when I record and I add all of these together, suddenly my answer becomes 42 and 6 tenths.
Are these the same? 100%. This is 6 tenths, just like this is 6 tenths. So on this row, you probably guessed it. I'm sorry there's a little bit of a glare there. I don't know how to make that disappear for you. There we go. That's one tenth. The <laughs> difference is, is that this is fraction expanded form. Okay. So this is another way you're going to be working on understanding how do I stretch out these numbers because it helps us know that you understand how the place value of tenths comes into play with the whole numbers, which makes sense that it's going to be a little bit after because it's smaller than a whole. It's part of a whole, which is the same idea. It's the same concept of a fraction. So I'm going to introduce you to that. And now um, you're going to find as we move forward that I'm going to have you do some practice with me on this. So you always have this to reference. You are done focusing on representing mixed numbers as a fraction expanded form and decimal expanded form. You're ready to move on.